Hi, I'm Eric from PDF Generator API, and today I will show you how to integrate PDF Generator API using the node code platform called uh, Adalo. So in my example, I will show you a basic certificate generator app. First, uh, this is how the PDF Generator API website looks. And if we go into the app, so you can, if you don't have the account yet you can sign up and have a free sandbox account for one month for evaluation and testing and i already have the account set up so this is a test account uh, this template section and uh, i can navigate to our certificate template yeah I, this one yeah so this is the template we have prepared. It basically expects two fields. First one is the name, and uh, the name is pretty straightforward. So the date one is a bit trickier because uh, it's the date type expects a specific input format. So this can be, of course, changed. But uh, in my case, I set it up in this format. So we need to think of this when we will be building the Adalo application. So without further ado, we can jump into the Adalo application where I already have prepared a uh, few fields. So the component uh, for, for inputting the name, for filling out the name. The second one is uh, for filling out the date. Uh, as you can see, I prepared it with a placeholder to, to show that we need the date in the specific format because the template expects it this way. And the last component is for the PDF generator API. So it's the button that it's basically a plugin that you can find in, in the market, marketplace of Adalo. So I have pre-filled the API key and API secret from my test account. Uh, this is the workspace identifier, which is basically my email in the account and I filled out the template ID, which can be found, uh, yeah, sorry, the API credentials can be found in the settings section. So here is the API key API secret. Uh, and here you can find the ID of the template. So I use this ID in, in here, basically. Next one is the file name. So that's a certificate and I used the input name from the first text field. And as our template is quite basic, uh, it just requ requires the name and the date. The JSON payload is not so, so uh, big one. So it's just the name with the input name again from the text field and the date with the, with the date from the second text field. Then on the Bottom there, yeah, uh, the line item, line item section in this case, because the certificate doesn't expect any kind of line items, which would need an array of items. So in this case, we will not, not need to uh, care about the line items in, the, in this case. Next uh, tab is for the button itself. So yeah, this is just pretty basic, uh, we can input some text that we need to show the button but the magic happens in the in this action so i can uh, use the link to the website and with the magic uh, button here we can use the pdf generator api output so it basically uh, gives up the url which brings us to another another tab which will be open with this URL. So now if we preview the application, yeah, I already have some fields pulled out and generate. It will open up the certificate with, with the name and date that we filled out. Okay, well, that's it for, for the PDF Generator API integration with Adalo. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you have any additional questions, please contact us via support at pdfgeneratorapi.com.